have forced the British out of the Mediterranean. Now it is time to take Africa for Germany. We must seize the British fuel dumps so that our tanks will have the fuel they need to cross the desert. For the Vaterland! Thanks for the emotional speech, Mr. Mount Announcer Man. Don't even know your name. I don't want to know your name. Anyway, welcome back everyone to yet another episode of Axe and Allies. In this episode, we're doing the Battle of El Alamein. Not sure which one though, because there are two. I think there are two. Three? Maybe three. I don't remember anymore. There was a number, and they end up doing something. But anyway. You start the map off with heavy tanks. Heavy tanks that don't have an HQ, so you want to go ahead and quickly get an HQ. And you also need to get a mechanized one for an armor division HQ. On this map, you're not able to produce airfields. However, your AI counterpart, um, they I believe they start with one. I'm pretty sure they start with one. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. I know there's one on this map, I just don't remember if it actually starts or not. I, I, who knows anymore. Anyway, we have a mishmash of just units here that I would like never ever end up using because you know they're not good, but uh, screw it. They're going to go ahead and be used some. I don't have the money to uh, go ahead and just magically make it not happen, so yeah, screw it, it's just going to happen. I want to go ahead and actually kind of save up for that after, you know, do my whole cheat strat thing and just get a whole bunch of money. Now, you do have a secondary objective. Of course, you have to get rid of all these roadblocks. Well, train... train blocks. What do you want to refer to them as? You know, blocks of train. They're actually boxcars. How would you know? That was the secret of the universe. Now, you do have to do that. You also have to, I believe, capture... Uh, I believe you have to capture El Alamein itself. And down over... Where is it? It is... No, like, really? Where, where the hell is that? Where is it? Oh, right here. And here you have a whole bunch of units just stationed here that you have to capture. Do you have to capture that? Yes, you do. You have to capture the oil depot, which... Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. The uh, issue that the that the uh, Axis really had in Africa was um, water. They had, like, no water whatsoever. During the El Alamein battle, they had... Uh, they had very... All I have to say is that they had very little. <laughs> That's all I have to say. There was, like, I think, like, four German divisions and ten Italian divisions. Maybe twelve Italian divisions. There was a good number of Italian divisions, and I remember reading that, um... The water supply, because they'd have to get, essentially, most of their supplies from... Um, uh, from Europe proper, it had to be brought over, and then you'd end up landing. And what the fuck ended up hitting me? Oh, a minefield. I'm uh, okay. There's another minefield. Why am I not seeing these goddamn mines? What is going on? They're actually mines from the Algerian War in you know Egypt. Okay, yeah, that was stupid. I apologize. That didn't make any damn sense whatsoever. The Algerian Wars in the 30s secretly took place there. Who knew? And again, you have Goliath bomb things here. These would be an awful. They would be horrible to have in here because, you know, you got sand. You don't really have roads. And uh, they were actually probably too big to, uh, like, too big and awkwardly shaped to fit on railroad tracks. Maybe. They weren't very good off-road. That's all I have to say. And I was going to do something, I completely lost the train of thought. Oh my god, what was going on? Oh yeah, right, but, pff, wow. Brain's not functional today. Anyway, uh, before I forget to do this, you have this thing right here, which will summon a medium tank regiment. Yeah, it says they're faint tanks, but guess what? Boom! Faint tank, wow. Faint, why can I not say that word? Fake tanks. My brain couldn't process the word fake tanks. Now there is an HQ here that you can go ahead and destroy uh, very, very slowly if you so desire to. Not bad. There's also an airfield uh, further up here that I may as well go ahead and get rid of. It's like right here. Assume that's deployed yet. Yep, there it is. 
So go ahead and get rid of the airfield first, because that would be the smart thing to do. You know, the smart thing to do would just, you know, destroy, like, everything you see. But, yeah, sometimes you can't do that. These medium tanks, by the way, they suck. They, they, they just suck. Granted, I, like, never use medium tanks, so as to whether or not is, like, they're an actual medium tank or not, I don't know. I've yet to really figure that out. I would go ahead and make medium tanks. Only issue is that, eh... I don't really have the funds to do that at the moment. And uh, they end up gaining levels really fast, too. Oh yeah, they uh, also cannot be attached, I believe. I'm also certain they cannot be whatsoever. So uh, they're just, you know, something that you can use. And they recharge in five minutes, which is pretty good. You have a lot more than you really need. Like this Blitzkrieg thing, don't really need it. V-weapons, which again, they didn't freaking have. <laughs> They did not have V weapons at this point in time. Those weren't until late 43? Maybe mid 43? I know the V2 was a was like 1944 and and all that jazz. I I don't specifically remember history off the top of my head. This is the issue when you try to learn stuff. It's like you have all this other stuff in your brain and and, uh, you know, for this episode, I was originally going to be talking about, like, synthetic oils. And I'm like, well, no, Stalingrad is next, so I should probably talk about that. Because that's much more, like, oil base, And, yeah, that's just the best way to put it. In the desert, what you need is water. You do not need, um... You really don't need uh, the oil. I'm mean, granted, yeah, they, they, they needed a lot of oil. Especially considering the fact that uh, even if they end up getting oil in Europe, like, you know, they end up capturing, say, I don't know, like Baku or, or uh, Gran Granzi, I don't remember how you pronounce that. To capture those places, that solved the European issue uh, for fuel. Not the African situation, though. Uh, a lot of, like, inter... I almost said intergalactic. <laughs> a lot of, like, inter... Um, that's a good way to put it. Like, transferring resources from one theater to another was something that the Axis really had an issue in doing. They were never very good at it. Because, you know, they would have, like, a high, uh, they'd have a high amount of, say, like, I don't know, maybe iron and France and, like, their occupied territories. But then they'd have an issue actually, you know, taking it out, even though, granted, during the whole occupation of territories they end up just not being that good in like actually taking uh, resources from the populace and that sort of thing their resource efficiency was not that great and uh, well that was kind of one of the main reasons they invaded Norway in the first place was uh, so they could get iron and then it turned out like oh hey we have all this land now we don't really need the iron ore anymore well, granted, they still did. I mean, they had they had outputs numbering some, like, 1.8 million tons from Sweden alone, which, granted, was pretty much their entire iron ore supply. Because beforehand, you ended up having a lot of it come from, like, Morocco, and there was some from Spain, even though after the whole Spanish Civil War debacle, that kind of turned around and didn't really, yeah... Any sort of resource allocation from there was kind of, uh, was not that great. Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't even occupied either. Nor can I apparently think straight, because I'm just kind of going all off and on. That's what happens when you don't record for a long period of time. Your brain is like, pfft, whatever. Your brain does not function anywhere near as well as it should. I also find it relatively odd that you would have a Blitzkrieg here in the desert. Which is not exactly the ideal terrain for these tanks. These tanks are not good for uh, off-roading, to say the least. They were very much a... Uh, they're kind of... They had a lot of just technical issues. And is nowhere near as bad as, say, like... The original tanks where they break down when you went like 20 feet. But, oh my god. The, the Panzers themselves. All versions of the Panzers had so many issues, technically-wise. Where it's just like, oh my god, why? Just why? Especially you guys here. You guys sucked. You were just... Ew. 
It was actually, no, it was actually good. Like, did it, does it show how much armor you guys lot, you lot have? No, no, you don't. I don't remember what um, Panzer VI is. They also didn't have Panzer VI here. Not even, not even close. I, I find it weird that the lead guys in the Panzer IV, yet the regular tanks are a Panzer VI. I don't get it. it what exploded? Oh, they end up coming after me. Really? Now that was just rude of you. Come on, man. Nor did they have Stuart tanks here. Will this be taking place? I don't know. He doesn't really say. I we can assume maybe 1942, mid mid 42, maybe late 42. Yeah, they didn't have Stuart tanks. Or am I thinking of? No, I'm th God damn it! I think of fucking Shermans. Never mind. I remember. I don't study tank technology like ever, cause you know it's tank technology. Not really my thing. I prefer the more odd kind of weird tanks. I, apparently, I'd never made an artillery brigade. I could have swore I had. Oh well. I was gonna go and speed this up a little bit. Just go ahead and move. Look at them go. All like barely jogging. Perfect, you people. You go and deploy, cause I need to get some artillery people up. You tanks go first, destroy them, or destroy that. Destroy something, just make stuff go boom. All you people, which these light tanks are going to do bugger all against, because, you know, they're light tanks and they can't do anything, they're at least better than the Japanese tankies, because, oh my god, those things were awful. Those things just sucked so hard. I don't even want to, yeah, those, yeah. That's all I had to say. They were awful. I mean, hell, light arms fire could kill them pretty quickly. That's generally not a good, um, it's generally not a good aspect of a good tank. Those weren't good tanks. Granted, they were, you know, they were at least something in, you know, the jungles, because trying to get, like, any other regular tank, not going to happen in there, really. I mean, you could, depending on where you are, but it's much more likely that's going to just not work. It's generally going to be too heavy. Uh, sometimes it will also uh, especially have issues regarding the, um, the water that gets inside of it and all that jazz, because they were very susceptible to water. And uh, the Colonial Trips didn't really have tanks, as far as I know. Granted, that one I could also be completely and totally wrong on. But I don't remember, like, uh, any Colonial Troops having specific tanks, at least unless they were from, like, regular army stores or something of that nature. Oh, by the way, boom tanks. <laughs> just boom tanks. That's all it's needs, just boom. As I said, these tanks, not that great. They're, they're not doing that well. I mean, you know, they're doing better than the light tanks, but that's not saying much. Okay, just run away. Come on, man. Go ahead and destroy the stuff. It needs to go booms. Alright, doesn't want to go booms. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, fine. Run back up over here. Go ahead and just run. Now, there's no point having you lot run. I don't even know. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you, you can go ahead and run too, even though you can't attach. You lot run away too. Come on. I've been playing way too much like EU4. I'm used to like a lot of other stuff. Hey, hey tank, run away. Hey tank, route away. Bravely run away. Even though these tanks granted, well I mean if they're hitting me in the back then yeah, they probably actually could hurt me. But outside of that, um, no, not really, because the uh, the stewards were not very good against uh, Panzers. Well, I should say Panzer Force, because they had a lot of armor. Not sure how much armor they had in term in uh, regards to like um, other stuff, but I want to say maybe like full 50, 60 millimeters, or am I thinking more prototypes? Because Dermis had a lot of prototype tanks too that really didn't see the light of day. They had the... Nope, I'm not even going to go on with that. Because my brain keeps wanting to say that. Panzer VI was actually a prototype tank. They made, you know, a few of them. And, like, not much more. They made, like, two at the end of... Um, at the end of 1944. They really never saw action. And they're supposed to be, like, a super heavy tank. And there's a whole series of models of those. 
and a few of those were made, and there was one that was supposed to have, like, 300 millimeters of armor and, and all this jazz, and it's just, like, that's kind of, yeah, no, that, that's pretty stupid. Why you would invest your time in doing that, I don't know. Do we really care? No, not really. You're kind of our enemy. We shouldn't care. I could have swore I told... Oh, I'm at my unit limit. I was like, why, why aren't you... Why aren't you doing stuff? Like, oh, that's why. I could have also, you know, ended up giving my people better stuff. But, eh, I forgot to. And fast mode. Dur, dur, dur. No, no Halo music. I'll end up getting copywritten. I haven't played Halo in forever either. I kind of should. Or maybe not. I'm really a huge Halo fan. At least, you know, for the last, like, few years, I really haven't been. I could really go for some, uh... We could go so for some anti-tank. Anti-tank's good against, guess what, tanks! Granted, also, you know, having, like, medium tanks would probably be better than the base light tanks that I have, but I just didn't have the money or the desire to really deal with them. You go ahead and shoot them as well. Deal with all these people. Hey, I actually got rid of some people for once. I believe I got rid of the HQ further down, but I do not fully remember. Yep, you're good. Just go ahead and deal with them. Come on. There you go. Good job. Good job. You get deployed. I need to hurry up and get you. Okay, you're all good. Number two, where is... Hey, number two. Move down here. You go and destroy all this jazz. There's also a flame tank up here, if I uh, remember correctly. Flame tanks that you, like, never see the AI use. I don't even know how prevalent flame tanks were in the war. I didn't even know that they were a thing, really. I mean, it makes sense, but in most aspects, it's like, why would you, why, why? Why did you do flame tanks? I don't know. This is what you get when you don't do a whole lot of research. You tend to not know much stuff. Who knew? That's how it worked. Yeah, just go ahead and move over here, capture that. Hey, guess what? Go ahead and be super awesome, and yeah. Gonna attack that really quick. Come on, guys. Let's go ahead and keep destroying stuff. Gotta keep going super fast. You probably don't have all your stuff. Oh, I was like, what the fuck into the Pernium? Like, oh yeah, probably mines. And you can go ahead and just start bombarding this, even though I can probably actually attack um, that area just completely directly. But who knows? Deal with you really quick. I could also just go ahead and quickly destroy the... Um, the barricade, but I'd prefer a little bit of extra room. Or, you know, I guess, you know, like trouble? Less trouble? Maybe more trouble? Who knows? Oh, what the hell are you lot doing? Go and destroy these. Come on, hurry up. Destroy them. Go super fast and destroy them. Or, you know, get your asses handed to you. Why are you all having so many issues with this? Kill them! Camels, assist me in <laughs> assist me in my endeavor. I will aid you when you're in, in. Never mind. That was stupid. I apologize. Wow. Why are these medium tanks kicking the shit out of my dudes? They shouldn't be able to. It was like two two dudes. All right, fine. Everyone's going to turn around then. Go and destroy all the stuff, cause you know you can. See, boop, 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 boop. Now go ahead and destroy that all. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Except I think, I think I need to actually destroy all these. It'll be just one second, one second. Yep, there we go. Now I guess all of you... Oh, there's a... Wow. For once they actually have a big swap of units coming this way. Which, like, never happens. Hey, guess what? Back out. Oh, really? You're following me? Really, dude? Come on. Fucking engineers. Uh-uh. No way. Not gonna happen. So not gonna happen. All right, you know, you can miss. Come on. All right, fine. Be that way. Y'all gotta just run back down over here. Come on. Time to super speed. Super speed everything. Super speed's always the nicest thing to do. I lost my medium tanks. I could honestly kind of care less. So say I could actually probably just go ahead and like deal with all of you directly and uh, just fruit. 
There we go. Problem solved. Hey, map is done. Wow, they actually really built up a base, didn't they? Wow. Um, they normally don't rebuild bases like that, but okay. But yeah, that was the end of this mission, so I will see you guys back in the next one for even more absolutely riveting, horrible, like, commentary. Anyway, I will see you guys then. So until then, until then.